Welcome boys and girls to another week of Kingdom Kids. I'm excited to be here this morning learning more about Jesus and following in his footsteps. Isn't it wonderful, boys and girls, that we can still keep connected? Um, even though we're not meeting here um, on a Sunday, but we still are online. And I'm excited this morning, boys and girls, because I have a special friend that has come along, especially for you guys this morning. So Me! Hi! Hello! Hi! Are you going to introduce yourself? I'm Bert. Hi, Bert. Hello. Bert, have you been here before? Yep. Really? Yep. Yes, I think you have. That's right. Yep. Um, so, boys and, boys and girls, um, Bert's come along this morning. So, um, what are you going to do first of the day, Bert? Help. Help and teach. Teach? About... Oh, yeah, right. Um, about Jesus. Yes, about Jesus. So, thanks for coming and taking part. But before um, we start into our lesson, um, this morning we're going to play a game. game and it's called Mallet's Mallet. Yay! It involves this spongy thing. It's a word association game and you're not allowed to say the same word or you get this over the head. Bert, you start. Bus. School. School bus. Yeah, oh. you get the same word. I'll start again. Hey, we're not competitive at all here. Sunday school. Patricia. Oh, hold on a second, you can't say that. Why? I'm out. Okay, <laughs> um, David Steele. Sleep. You can't say that. What? Oh. Church. Jesus. God. All powerful. Almighty. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, 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 ah. God is love. Oh. Yeah. Good morning. Today's reading is found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 43, right through to chapter 6, verse 4. Love for enemies. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain in the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Giving to the needy. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others, to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honoured by others. Truly I tell you, they have received the reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Amen. This morning, boys and girls, are you ready to be challenged? Are you ready to be really, really challenged? Because our lesson this morning is about... Bert? Max! No, not yet. Oh, yeah. Hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. Love your enemies. Now, boys and girls, I know. I, I know that that is a difficult task. Not just for you or for me, but for all us grown-ups. Loving your enemies is difficult. But in God's word, the Bible, Jesus teaches us and reminds us the importance of loving our enemies. And we just need to ask Jesus to help us with that. What about you, Bert? Do you have a story? Thank you. Well, my friend let the air out of my tires on my new bike. Oh, I know. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah, and um, what did you do? Or well, I wanted to do the same thing to his bike. Did you want to seek revenge? Did you, did yeah, you want to pay back? revenge. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, it did. It sounded good to get revenge, but I didn't. Didn't do it. Nope. Do you want to know why? Yes. Do you? Yes, yes. yes. Because Jesus 
told me not to. Yeah. That wasn't his way. Can we think of anything else, Bert? Yep. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, sometimes we need to say we're sorry. Anything else, Bert? Anything uh, you'd like to add? Let me see. Hey. Oh. Don't pay back. Well, that's an example that Bert has already shared with us this, this morning. Yeah. Don't seek revenge. Don't pay back. As much as you think, actually, I want to get my own back. That's not how Jesus tells us to live. Nope. Is there anything else there, Bert, that you'd like to uh, to show us this morning? Might be. All right, all right, let's go in. Yes. Yes, it's pray, boys and girls. When we pray, God answers our prayers. Things change. Like pink and some like blue Some of us like reading books Some of us like feeding ducks That's because we're different, me and you But God loves everyone He's made
48. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Welcome back, boys and girls, and I'm going to tell you a story about two people that lived in two towns. One was called Max, Max and the other one was called Max. Miriam. Miriam. <laughs> Max and Miriam lived in two separate villages, like so. Max, he loved the people in his village. They loved him, they cared for each other, they worked together, and life was good. Now, Miriam, she also lived in her village and she loved the people in her village and they loved her. They worked together, they cared for each other and life was good. But there was a problem. These two villages were enemies. In fact, boys and girls, Max and Miriam worked in a field together. Okay, so here's Miriam. She's working in the field. Oh, stand up. And here's Max. Here's Max. And they worked in a field together. But boys and girls, there was something wrong. They deliberately didn't talk to each other. They didn't care for each other. In fact, they went out of their way so they didn't have to speak to each other. Now, boys and girls, that's not how Jesus tells us to live our life. But let's look at Jesus' life. Now, Jesus lived in a country called Israel. And the people that lived in Israel were Israelites. And the village nearby, the town nearby, was called Samaria. And the people that lived in Samaria were Samaritans. Now, boys and girls, the Israelites and the Samaritans, they were enemies. In fact, so much so that the Israelites wouldn't even walk through the town of Samaria. They didn't love each other. But you see, Jesus was different. In fact, Jesus, he not only walked through Samaria, he talked to the Samaritans. He told them about God's love. He told them about God's kingdom. You see, boys and girls, when Jesus taught people, they were amazed at his teaching. People listened. Jesus was the greatest peacemaker and he asked us to live in peace with one another, to live for Jesus and to love others. And boys and girls, I know that loving your enemies, loving um, people that are difficult is a hard task, but with Jesus' help, and praying to him, Jesus can help us through it.
Heavenly Messenger. Go on then, what's your message? This Christmas may be very odd. It will be like no other. You'll wish for friends but make amends with sister or with brother. You can no longer kiss and hug or stay at grands all day, but we have a list for the social distance COVID-19 play. If you want to sing and dance or be a fluffy sheep, we've sussed a way to do our play and in our faith we'll leap. Time is quickly running out and this week is the last. So shout today to join our play, you'll have to tell us fast. Now send us a quick email if you want to come along. It's Dundrop Presbyterian at gmail.com. Are you done? Well, that was a bit weird. Okay, boys and girls, so um, this week we have been following in Jesus' footsteps, and this week it's Be Loving. And we're just going to hand it over to Bert to finish in prayer. <clears throat> Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus so that people who were your enemies could become members of your family. Help us to show your love to others so that they will praise you. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.